This is amazing. It's still about a, a third of the sun is eclipsed as I'm sitting here just watching it. We were here as a family just enjoying the eclipse. I'm in central Indiana and uh, we were in the the area where it was a total eclipse. The, the sky went dark. Weirdest thing that I've, I think I've ever experienced all around you is kind of like a, a, a dark sunset. And you could look at the sun, it was completely blacked out. And uh, I'm sure you've been paying attention to social media with all of the Christian talking heads, at least some of them out there saying, oh, God's trying to wake America up, or you've been seeing the end times verses being posted. And uh, I just happened to be reading some um, early church father writings and was reading in the, the Didache. And the Didache is a collection of writings that, the, that supposedly the 12 apostles put together um, right at about the time the book of Revelation is being written, maybe even before that. And they are dealing with a lot of the prophecies that Christ said in Luke 21. And he says that all these will pass before this generation passes away. And so they're dealing with a lot of omens and, and signs and all this that's happening. And in the Didache, there's two main portions of it. Um, there's the way of life and the way of death. And in the way of life, they have a, a portion that they call fences. These are things that may not be sin, but they lead to sin. And in, a, in one of it, I just found really interesting because of obviously what the eclipse brought. It says, don't look to omens because it leads to idolatry. It took me a while, I was thinking through that and going, why would that be the case? You know, why, why would it lead to idolatry? And it becomes where you begin to look into it and, and try to interpret something, try to put emphasis on something that, that isn't God himself. And we know the, the verses that say, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens aren't God, the heavens declare the glory of God. You also can read in the text in Deuteronomy 4, it says, when you look up, up at the sun, the, the moon and the stars and all the heavenly array, don't fall into bowing down to it or worshiping it because God's put it there for all the humans. Um, and it's easy for us to weaponize natural activities. You hear this with earthquakes or, or um, major tornadoes or volcanic eruptions and immediately we try to weaponize it and say, oh, if you don't repent, God's judging or something. And, and the early church is wrestling with it and says, when you, when you do look up at it, don't, don't look at it as an omen. Don't try to read more into it than what it is. What it should do is look up at it and glorify God. And as I sat here and, and just went through this whole eclipse, it's just amazing that God has established this. And uh, the heavens do declare the glory of God. And it's amazing to be a part of it because a lot of people were looking up at the sky today. And hopefully they are seeing that God's hand is at work.